Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. My name is Gerald and the topic for today is Waste Management. Before we start, let me just mention that you can find a playlist with all the tutorials in the description of the video. Also, don't be afraid to use the comment section at any time during the video if you have any questions. Okay. Welcome to the Waste and Demolition tutorial. Let's start by building an incinerator where we can burn the garbage. Most types of garbage will burn completely and turn into small amounts of ash. But it depends on the type of garbage. Some garbage, such as metals or construction waste, cannot be burned at all. The incinerator produces pollution, so it's a good idea to put it outside of the city. However, it still needs a workforce to operate, like everything in the game. Waste. Two incinerators. A smaller one and a bigger one. Big, small. You're doing great, comrade. Dump. Let's build a dump. This will extend the incinerator's input storage. Dump small. Dump with claw machine. Transfer for big garbage containers. Don't know what these things are. Dump small. Dump medium. Dump free. Eighty tons, two hundred and seventy tons. Oh, they can actually collect a lot. Station for vehicle loading and loading. So they all have more than the small one. But it also has a road from what I can see. Good work, comrade. The incinerator is factory that both consumes and produces waste. If we leave the factory connection two way, the incinerator will use the connected storage for both input and output, causing the ash and other remains after burning to be stuck in a never ending cycle. Okay. So. Ah. Press escape, so I have to delete this. Ah no, just one way. Oh, oh my god, that's a that's a new thing. Like I don't remember seeing that before. So apparently you can change the um, factory connections now. So that's amazing. Now let's build a technical services office. It will collect waste from residential and industrial buildings. Technical services. This one is free. So that's the smallest one, medium one, huge one. We are going to build a medium one. Excellent! Lenin would be proud. Now, open the technical office window and set the garbage destination to the dump near the incinerator. Now all garbage types will go there. Wait, what? Open the technical office window and set the garbage. Aha, uh -huh. specify replacer source building. Uh -huh. So construction waste, metal scrap, aluminium scrap, biological waste, plastic waste, hazardous waste, mixed waste, all go to the dump. Every building has an automatically created low capacity internal storage for garbage. Industrial buildings use big garbage containers, so we need a big garbage container truck to handle them. Oh, that's awesome. Waste truck. Sewage cistern. Waste truck. Big garbage. Just garbage. Large container. Small container loading. Okay, 
So they are different. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. All other buildings, such as residential buildings, use small garbage containers, so we need a truck for small containers as well. Makes sense. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Oh, they're already working, it appears. Where are you going? To the shopping center. Oh, 172% full. Oof. Burnable waste. Biological waste. That's so cool. Not very efficient to have the garbage truck visit every building. So we built container stand for citizens to use to put the garbage there. Note that the container stands or internal building containers can become overfilled with garbage, causing pollution. Okay, that makes complete sense. That's like a area for waste. For people to throw their waste. Small... Sorry, stand for small garbage containers. Small. Stand for small, large. Stand for small garbage, small. So these are the same. There is definitely... Ah, so that one doesn't have road connection. Very interesting. Okay. You're doing great, comrade. So I imagine now everyone is going to come here to throw the trash. Let's check which buildings are accessible from the container stand. Oh, just a few buildings remain that don't have close access to a container stand. Never mind. The garbage truck will visit those buildings. View garbage containers in range. Okay. Let's build a stand for big containers near the food factory. I, I will do that in a bit. So... The storage is emptied by technical services. Water waste. So I guess that, that's the amount of storage that this stand can have. Yeah, I can see. I'm pretty sure. What the hell? <laughs> uh, anyway. So it's getting full and we have, what is it, 5, 10, 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, yeah, 18, exactly. So this number here in the picture is the same as this one here. And from time to time, the truck is going to come to pick it up. Now it's mixed waste. And we can also choose to have dedicated containers. Another separation container. Maybe I have to lower this one first. Well, nothing works uh, apparently today. You can get notified as well. Prohibit waste disposal. Interesting stuff. And you can also copy the settings to another building, which is great. Demolish, view garbage and rename. Okay, good stuff. Stand for big garbage containers. Small, large. This time we have only two options. Perfect work, comrade. But the food factory works with crops, which means it will produce mostly biological waste. Let's reserve three containers for biological waste in this stand. Remember that if you have turned on the research difficulty, you need to do special research in order for citizens to separate the waste. But in this case, we are using it for industry buildings. Okay, that's that's a good thing to know, I guess. Ah, that's why I couldn't click it here. Because we don't have the research that this tutorial is talking about. That makes sense now. Okay, here we have 52 tons. Oh, and we have eight containers. Three containers are going to be for biological waste. Excellent work. We can extend the factory's internal garbage space via factory connections. 
we will build a container transfer, which is essentially a storage area for garbage in the form of containers so that it can be loaded quickly. Because the distillery produces waste but does not consume it, we don't need to make the factory connection one way, unlike before. Okay. Transfer for big garbage connection containers. Oh, so they thought about this as well. That's so cool. Small, large. Double the amount. Good job. So I imagine that in this case, all the garbage from from the distillery is going to appear directly into the. Okay, but why are these people going there? I didn't get that. <laughs> into the garbage containers. Similar to the container stand near the food factory, the distillery will also produce some bio waste. So let's reserve one container to store the bio waste. Okay, this, this is a different type of selection. As the garbage transfer building is a storage building and not a garbage container stand or an internal garbage bin inside a building, it will not be handled by... Oh! We need to schedule a truck for big garbage containers to load the garbage from there and bring it to the destination. That is interesting and I'm also curious why they decided to make it so. So the stands they get collected, but these transfers don't. Okay. Where are we supposed to put this? Waste truck. Okay, that is something very important not to forget, to be honest. As we have separated the bio waste, let's make a dump for it. To be able to load the garbage faster, let's use the dump with a claw machine that can speed up the process. Dump with claw machine. And we have three types, small, large, and with rail. So we can bring garbage with rail, that's, that's good, I guess. Good to know. Good job. Open the window of the newly built dump and select to store bio waste there. Hundred and thirty tons. Select the container transfer at the distillery as the first stop for the garbage truck. Specify the load command there and specify to load bio waste. Okay, we click to a new stop. Load bio waste. And now unload. As control, container transfer is not handled by technical services, we need to transport mixed waste from there to the dump near the incinerator. incinerator. Select the load command and this time we will specify mixed waste to load. This time they lost me. Okay, so they actually... Ah, so we are going to go back to take the mixed waste as well. And we are going to bring it to the incinerator. I see, so one time is going to go for biological waste to the dump. And another time for mixed waste 
with an incinerator. But biological waste does not get incinerated? That's a very, very interesting idea. Okay. Open the technical services window and select bio waste destination. Set it to the dump with flow machine, where we send the truck in the previous step. All our bio waste will go there. Ah, and because we already. Uh huh. Okay, I see. So, because we already clicked here on biological waste. Now, after we click this one there, only biological waste is possible to be accepted as a destination for the technical services. That makes a lot of sense. Purchase a truck for big garbage containers at the depot. Good job. Send the truck to load fertilizer from the dump where we collect bio waste. As the bio waste slowly transformed into the fertilizer, we can still take the fertilizer from the bio waste to use it elsewhere. So we will specify the load command and we will specify fertilizer. Alright, so that's a mechanic that uh, I might start loving. I don't know how good it is to use um, waste fertilizer, but sure, you're doing great. In and load at the farm. You're doing great. Okay, we can wait until the bio waste on the dump turns into fertilizer, which can be used at the farm. Or we can build a composting plant. So let's build a composting plant near the storage where we collect bio waste. Synthetic fertilizer, composting plant. It's very interesting how it doesn't have any description <laughs> on the buildings. Synthetic fertilizer. So this one uses liquid fertilizer and chemicals. And this one uses biological waste and chemicals. Alright, chemicals are hard to get in the beginning of the game for sure. Good work. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of things that they added. The composting plant needs a small amount of chemicals to operate, so let's purchase them. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Again, the composting plant produces and consumes waste. So to avoid an infinite cycle, we need to specify one-way factory connection. Okay, makes sense. Good job. So we only want the bio waste to go there. That's all for this tutorial. Good. Very interesting. That's definitely a lot of information. But I guess the most important parts to remember from today are... First, the transfers are not going to be collected automatically by the technical services. So you need to set up your own transfers. Also, bio waste connected to a composting plant can bring you fertilizer. And I think that's the majority of it. Other than that, it's pretty clear. It's very realistic, the rest of it. Like most of the buildings, the factories produce some kind of waste and they will need to, to have the, the waste taken and brought somewhere else. We have the claw machine dump to speed up the process as well. And we have small containers and large containers depending on the type of garbage that we are producing and the respective trucks that we have to buy for them. Big garbage or normal garbage. Okay. Alright. 
I hope this helped. If you found the video useful and want to improve the chance for other people to encounter it, give a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for more East coming in the future. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.